Each one of us is always in danger of not being the unique and untransferable self which he is. A stimulating utopia, a secret legend which each of us guards in the depths of his heart. Become what you are. A man can stand a lot as long as he can stand himself. He can live without hope, without books, without friends, without music, as long as he can listen to his own thoughts. As long as he can listen to his own thoughts. It means not sitting and wallowing in our old beliefs, but moving out of them into new, fresh territory. It means asking the question, am I living by my standards or by the standards of those about me? And are they living by their own standards or the standards of those about them? The greatest danger, that of losing one's own self, may pass off quietly as if it were nothing. Every other loss, that of an arm, a leg, five dollars, and so forth, is sure to be noticed. Happiness is to life what a paint job is to a product. It's the glistening veneer and nothing more. What counts is the product itself, its quality, the depth, the truth of its design and purpose. The whole idea is to become a winner as opposed to becoming a loser. But just who is a winner, and what do we mean by losing? Each human being is born as something new, something that never existed before. He's born with what he needs to win at life. Each has his own unique potentials, his capabilities and limitations. Each can be a significant, thinking, aware, and creatively productive person in his own right. A winner. When we refer to a person as a winner, we do not mean one who beats the other guy by winning over him and making him lose. To us, a winner is one who responds authentically by being credible, trustworthy, responsive, and genuine. A loser is one who fails to respond authentically. Achievement is not the most important thing. Authenticity is. The authentic person experiences the reality of himself by knowing himself, being himself, and becoming a credible, responsive person. He actualizes his own unprecedented uniqueness and appreciates the uniqueness of others. He does not dedicate his life to a concept of what he imagines he should be. Rather, he is himself. And as such, he does not use his energy putting on a performance, maintaining pretense, and manipulating others into his games. A winner can reveal himself instead of projecting images that please, provoke, or entice others. He's aware that there's a difference between being loving and acting loving. Between being stupid and acting stupid. Between being knowledgeable and acting knowledgeable. He does not need to hide behind a mask. He throws off unrealistic self-images of inferiority or superiority. Autonomy does not frighten a winner. Autonomy does not frighten a winner. A winner maintains a basic faith in himself. A winner is not afraid to do his own thinking and to use his own knowledge. He can separate facts from opinion and doesn't pretend to have all the answers. He listens to others, evaluates what they say, but comes to his own conclusions. And while he can admire and respect other people, he's not totally defined, demolished, bound, or awed by them. 
It's gonna be hard work climbing up the ladder, but we can handle it. Don't you agree? A winner does not play helpless. Nor does he play the blaming game. Instead, he assumes responsibility for his own life. He does not give others a false authority over him. He's his own boss and knows it. He knows that for everything there is a season, and for every activity a time. A time to be aggressive, and a time to be passive. A time to be together, and a time to be alone. This is where I used to be. A time to fight, and a time to love. A time to cry, and a time to laugh. A time to confront, and a time to withdraw. A time to speak, and a time to be silent. We've learned that ours is the only species on Earth whose natural state is one of disorientation, and therefore each of us must create his own world. Even if the creation of our world consists of nothing more than playing copycat. Closing our eyes and ears and just blindly following the person in front of us, hoping that somehow he or the person he's following knows where he's going and that when we get there, we'll both like it. We simply let the tide take us as it has in the past. And this is simply another form of avoiding the agony of making meaningful, faithful decisions. When a person lacks identity within himself, he will often strive to find it in an organization of some sort which will take over the decision-making role. Become what you are. Creatures of comparison, constantly deciding whether things are good or bad, or better or worse than other things. Eventually, we make so many comparisons that our overloaded brains will accept anything. Go on fighting. There's no other choice, is there? We have to keep fighting to survive. Yes, you're right. And I'm going to do everything I can do to help you. I want to be free. Free from pain. Free from fear. Free to take as much as I want and give as much as I want. And someday, somehow, that's the way it's gonna be. Why is remembering so hard for him? Because he died once. stand a lot, as long as he can stand himself. He has the courage to admit that he may be wrong even about matters of the greatest importance. Making one fateful decision after another against seemingly insuperable odds, his life is autonomy in action. He goes by his gut feelings. He listens to the voice within. If one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. Although people are born to win, they're also born helpless and totally dependent on their environment. Winners successfully make the transition from total helplessness to independence, and then to interdependence. 
Lizzie's do not. A Lizzie may not recognize that, for the most part, he's been building his own cage and digging his own grave and is a bore to himself. A Lizzie seldom lives in the present. He destroys the present by occupying his mind with past memories or future expectations. The key word in our thinking, in our conduct, in our goals, and in our lives is authenticity. We need to become what we are.